The boy been solid when you ask about your Mac and hard. Always on the line in the trenches like a nose guard. Never been a sucker, man. My knuckle game crazy. Leave your eye like a raccoon punching them out like the baby they say. He a G and he know for keeping it 100. Dirt on my boots, not my name. He's so 100. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc. etc. Don't let that internet get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I understand there are a million places you could be, but you are here with me. So Salute to y'all first and foremost. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and my man Mac Hard and Boosie on the intro song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's get to it. Um, so much going on in Battle Rap. I see uh, Rum Nitty wins Champion of the Year. I see there's a lot of reaction. I've seen a lot of different blogs, people talking about it or whatever the case may be. Them guys work hard to get things done. I'm not going to be the one that's going to bash or talk down on anyone. You know what I'm saying? I like to do... What I do over here on my channel with me as P breakdowns, I'm not really into like list and saying who did this and who did that. Ultimately, because I don't battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what it's like to stand on stage and get booed or get heckled or have a bad night. Now, do I think that there are a bunch of people who had a better year than Shotgun Shug? No, I don't. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many people. You could pick a person and then you could be like, this is why you hone on this person. You like, this is why you feel like Tay Rock. Or this is why you feel like Nitty. Nitty's not never a bad choice because Nitty is nice. But Shotgun Shook, he really definitely did his motherfucking thing. Um, I'll address what he said, you know what I'm saying? He was in 15 Minutes of Fame and he was talking about, you know, the list and where he fell and how he felt as far as the work that he did this year. I will say that Shotgun Shug had a phenomenal year, one that I did not envision him having coming into the year, and he spoke about me, you know. Like, even, like, you could take Ryder Fly for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he he would be good at there because you could take, use me an example, the nigga used to drag me, him and his man, like, you know what I'm saying, he used to drag me, he said, man, like, fuck that nigga's talking about, he used to drag me, I started doing good, they started reporting good, I do, ah, uh, Shug, that was, ah, uh, I wasn't really... I right. want that. You know what I'm saying? Call it out in the middle. I feel like... Because the thing is, when an MC does good, I can talk about them doing good. When they do bad, I will talk about them doing bad. Do I bring out the L? Yes. Do I embellish? Yes, I will. I will go ham because that's what I do because I'm just a fan at the end of the day. Me and SP, we just fans. We watch battles. We'll break down battles. We put a lot of work into it, but... Shotgun Shook took an interesting turn in his career. Uh, I remember there was a point where he was battling on the app, just literally app, app, app battles, and they were not good. You know what I'm saying? He had Battle vs. None None that wasn't good. Battle vs. Jerry West. I think he, no, not Battle vs. Jerry. None None. And it was Jack Boy. I think maybe Franchise might have been in there. Like, it was just a bunch of just nondescript battles that it wasn't doing nothing for him. Glue Easy, like all of these people at the time. And I was like, yo, Suge, it's not heading nowhere. Like, you're not, this is not it. So, you know, I, I would talk about him in blogs. I would talk negatively about him in blogs. I would say, yo, like, what are you doing? Like, you're the eighth best nigga in Jersey. And I felt no way about it because I knew where he could go. So I see what he's doing now. He's been wild and he had a great year. He battled Verb. I felt like he got that one. He bodied chess. He did everything that he was supposed to do. Only thing I want for Suge is for him to keep doing. Keep going, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. You're not gonna win every award. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? A lot of this shit be politics, and that's the reason why I don't like, another reason why I don't like getting involved with this shit, because a lot of these things that you get involved with, you gotta sell your soul, you gotta sell your voice. You can't say what you want all the time. You see what I'm saying? When I used to say shit, and I'd be around niggas on URL, if I say some shit too much about RBE, I'm gonna get a phone call. If I blogged about this, I'm gonna get a phone call. I'm gonna get a text message. Oh, this person don't like this, or this person don't like that. So for me, it was just like, yo, I don't wanna deal with none of this shit. And you guys, anybody over there at the time, I told niggas, I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't want to work with niggas because I'd rather do my own thing. I'd rather curse. You know what I'm saying? Every video won't be green. Every video won't be monetized. But guess what? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. I don't care 
about it. The money is cool, but it's not the only thing. That's the reason why I still curse. That's the reason why I say whatever I want. Because it doesn't matter. It's just me entertaining the people that watch it. Now, I do more views than most niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nobody in particular, but most channels, I do more views here with just me and Showtime SP. <laughs> We outside, we go here, we go there, bro. It's mad favoritism. You gotta kiss ass. And if you're not, you know what I'm saying, in the wing or doing chores or embellishing everything that niggas do, they not gonna fuck with you. And it's just what it is. But that's not all of battle rap. Like, there's not one set standard or one set way. Everybody's got their own opinion that's got their own choice. I've seen different, mad different people choose this battle of the year, that battle of the year. So at the end of the day, I would like to see Suge continue doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might be disheartening that you might have felt like you were, you know, you were somewhere, and then when you got picked, you were somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I do feel like, um, do I feel like, like I said, do I feel like multiple people had better years than Shotgun Suge? Absolutely not, you know? But if you pick one person or whatever the case above them, it is what it is. But it's a hard job. That shit is not easy, like, to sit there for hours and hours and hours and break down this person. All right. I ain't doing all that shit. I will break down the motherfucking battles. But if I had a pick, I probably would have picked Shotgun Shook. When I when I made a turn, when you start rapping like that, that shit came from Shook. It was a Shook battle that I said, when you start rapping like that the first time. And that was a slogan. I got more slogans than most niggas. When you start rapping like that, he got smoke. Y'all want to know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. And nobody, I got a fucking hundred of them, you know what I'm saying? But that was one of them that I got from him. Uh, so salute to Shotgun Sugar. I appreciate him shouting me out in the blog, but I had to address it. Um, another thing I was thinking about, and I want y'all's opinion on this. Sue Surf, his position in this URL versus RBE war. Now URL, you know they silent. They don't. They not gonna jump on camera. They not gonna talk about RBE directly. They not gonna. They do that shit. But behind the scenes, they do a lot of silent shit. You know what I'm saying? We just heard the rumors about bloggers and media being paid. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen no payments, but I'm just saying what, what's being said. But do these calls, of course these calls happen. These calls happen about me. Them niggas wanted me gone. It didn't work. I got bigger than I ever been. You know what I'm saying? But these calls do happen. Yes, leagues make calls. You think they don't? Yes, they do. I had a whole league try to get me out of here. Where did that go? All right, then, we here now. So, um, Sue Surf's position in the RBE versus URL war. Uh, I felt like a lot of the times, um, an artist of Sue Surf's caliber is able to say things and do things and reflect and negate and try to minimize everything that RBE has going on. RBE has powerful tools in their corner right now, which is number one, the most powerful tool is YouTube. Regardless of what people may say, there is no app there is no situation, there is nothing bigger than YouTube. Let's say it together. There is nothing bigger than YouTube. I don't care what niggas tell you, I don't care how they gas you. There's caffeine, app, URL, ain't none of the next Twitch, none of that shit is bigger than YouTube. There, It will never be. I don't care if they go from now to the year 3000. YouTube is always gonna be the biggest tool. So they have YouTube, right? And they can drop battles. Battlers that are there are seeing other battlers drop on YouTube. They're getting the looks that they want. URL goes strictly to an app. I get it. There's a lot of complaints about the app. There's, you know, battles aren't dropping on time. People don't want to see wrestling shows. Shit, like, there's a lot of complaints. You can see it. Like, and I didn't have the app for a couple months, but the saga, salute to the saga. He told me his battle versus Swamp Drop. I said I wanted to see it. That's my guy. So I went and got it. You know what I'm saying? And I'll have it for a month. And if it doesn't do good, I'm going to leave again. Um... And I seen they dropped like this shit where they talking about all the battles that's gonna come out this week and they doing trailers and shit and it was funny and then one of the little comments said Bada, thank you they heard you. I'm glad if you niggas is releasing content releasing battles I will st I will keep it I will watch it but you gotta understand I'm not a compromised voice I don't get favors I'm not in the in crowd if the shit ain't popping I'm gonna say it it is what it is like I don't need a I don't need a stage pass I don't need none of that shit I can watch that shit in the comfort of my home and recap it. Better, I'm not even gonna say just as good. I can watch that shit in the comfort of my home and continue to recap it better than damn near everybody on the planet. So with that being said, this is where I'll be. But I mean, you know, I'll come out of here and I just had an event. But um, what I'm saying is this, Sue Surf's position in this war, he was able to really 
go at ARP. They've had talks about bank accounts. They've had public, like public stats, like you bring your money, I bring my money. You, I put fifty thousand in here. There's not, they don't have an artist who can have those conversations with ARP anymore. And salute to everybody that's you know holding down the URL, waving the URL umbrella, and things like that. But they don't have that person, a spokesperson, a hitman, not a hitman holler, but a hitman, somebody that's going to step out there and take the hit, and that's going to be able to go back and forth. Nobody, they have nobody that can do that now. The people with the biggest name, big, 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 big names is not going to do it. Goods is not doing that. Low Deluxe is not doing that. Murder Mook is not doing that. Like, Rex is not doing that. Shine is not even in where you are right now. Like, these niggas is not going to go to war for Smack. Sue Surf would. That's why he was one of the highest paid artists. That's why he could have the requisite conversations. He may not have always came out on top or unscathed, but his image and so many people liked him that regardless of how it went, you know, I remember there was one time where Surf said, I'll take 30000 and come spit on your floors and leave. And not only was he able to do that, he actually went to the events afterwards. There's very few people that's going to do that. He would be at RBE events, standing in the crowd, right there in the front row, when uh, Bill Collective battled against Hitman Hollow. So he was there. Like He was not only willing to talk his shit, he would go there, be there, see the battles, talk his shit at the battles, and then leave. They don't, when the, the whole KFC thing, Surf made that up. But of course, everybody rolled with it because it was him. But there were other artists who called uh, RVE KFC or whatever the case may be. They show up. ARP would be trying to like you know have a conversation with them. But when they see him, oh no nah, man, I was just kidding man. It wasn't even nothing like that. Surf don't back down. That's the thing. He was the one that could stand the test of time when it came to going back. The war wouldn't even be in the position that it's in right now. Because a lot of the shit that was going on, he would have shot down. It would have never even got out. Or if it did get out, it wouldn't have been that big. There was just a situation the other day where Casey J was live streaming um, the RBE battle between Ill Will and Hollow Don. And you know, ARP said something about it. And she said, F your battles. She don't got enough stain, though, to make that last. Yeah, it was a tweet. Yeah, it was funny at the moment. But at the end of the day, there's no staying power. You're not going to make him get off of his square by doing that. If Surf live streamed a battle on caffeine, it would have made a way bigger stink. It would have been a way bigger noise. So I feel like, at the end of the day, while I would love to see, you know, battle leagues just do their thing and everybody just get along, it's never going to happen. Yes, URL is um, collaborating and doing an event with King of the Dot, but it's for Pat Stays Memorial. Yeah, they can lay it down, whatever they got for that, because all of the proceeds and everything goes to Pat Stay, and I would hope people support it because I will and cop the pay-per-view too. But at the end of the day, URL is too quiet of a company because they don't respond to everything. They don't really respond to anything. And not having a spokesperson, which Surf was, he was a Surf, he would have public spats with people over his company. With his future in jeopardy, who's going to be there? I don't know if there's anyone who will be able to step up and take that torch. Air yeah, Rock will jump online and he'll tweet and he'll say whatever he say. He'll curse people out and shit like that. But when you have the stain and you make the money, like the big, big dollars to say I made a quarter million or 50000 or 70000 y'all could, you could have them talk. When an artist other than Surf goes back and forth with for ARP, the first thing he's going to say is you're not even getting paid enough. Blah, 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 blah. He will have his ammo. So what I say that to say this is uh, it does have an effect. You know, Surf not being in battle rap is definitely has an effect. He was at the highest point of his career where he was actually putting it all together. The shit talk, then actually winning battles, putting it together, back to back to back to back to back battles. So when he got took away, uh, it definitely meant a lot. But y'all let me know. Do y'all think Surf not being here definitely has an impact on the URL versus RBE or the RBE versus URL? URL may not, not, may not feel like they're in a war. Is URL the number one league? Yes, they're the number one league. They have been the number one league for years. They have events all the fucking time. But to say that having events that are going straight to the app, is that going to hurt? Yeah, it hurts because most of the public is not going to be there. There's ne like I see a lot of people put so much stress and so much value in these going, 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 going to these events. You got to remember, you go to a battle rap event, you'll probably spend $500 to $1,000 on the weekend. A lot of people got kids, a lot of people got families, a lot of people got bills. You know what I'm saying? They not going to get that shit off with their girl or their wife or their, you know what I'm saying? Or their husband, like, yo, you want to go out for the whole weekend? Like, nah, I, I, it ain't happening. So 
those fans don't get to see it. And then when you, the trickle down effect is they're not even dropping in a requisite speed on the app. There be whole events that have not dropped yet. But we be getting battles from people that we really don't even care about. And then I know the artists will be getting mad at me. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 blah. I've seen people literally get mad because I said the content that was coming out is not good. I'm paying for it. If I was to pay for uh, Jiffy Lube or AutoZone or Firestone to do my tires, if they did a bad job, I could jump online and do a review and say the shit was ass. I didn't like the job that they did and I wasted my money. And guess what? Nobody from Firestone is going to get mad. They'll call me, give me a discount. Shit like that. It's happened before. You know what I'm saying? But y'all be getting way too involved in your feelings. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that uh, at the end of the day, we just want to see good battles. We just want to see good events. You know what I'm saying? But I do, 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 do feel like Sue Serve not being here plays a part. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You already know what it is. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for all the latest content. Get it! Yeah. They say the boy been solid when you ask about your Mac and hard. Always on the line in the trenches like a nose guard. Never been a sucker, man, my knuckle game crazy. Leave your eye like a raccoon punching them out like the baby. They say he a G and he know for keeping it 100. Dirt on my boots, not my name, he's so 100.